Okay, so today it was announced by Marvel that they are stepping up their animated series over at Hulu. That's right, they are going to be introducing a new cinematic animated universe on Hulu called Marvel's The, Off the Offenders. Yeah, I'm not joking, people. This is, uh, this is, this is a thing. I'm surprised this is going to Hulu and not Disney+, Plus. maybe because they can get away a little more on Hulu, and, you know, Disney+, Plus can only go so far, because I got a feeling these are going to be more adult-oriented shows. So yes, when I say shows, that means we've got multiple shows that will, much like in most cinematic shows from Marvel, will coalesce into a, uh, animated show where they all come together. Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so the shows that will uh, be appearing on the animated shows that will be appearing on uh, Hulu will be followed as such: Modok, uh, Marvel, uh, uh, yeah, Modok, Howard the Duck, Dazzler and Tigra, and Hitmonkey. And uh, yeah, did I say Howard the Duck? I said Howard the Duck. Yeah. Anyway, so there you go. And it's all going to coalesce into all the characters coming together to create Marvel's The Offenders. So, yeah, that's 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 where they're going with. Now, I like this idea, because I've always said that if you were going to do an, a, Mar a Marvel adult animated show, Howard the Duck is the right person. Howard the Duck is the right guy to do this. If you were going to do something like Family Guy or The Simpsons with any Marvel character, it was going to be... It was definitely going to be... Um, uh, it was definitely going to be Howard. There's no doubt about that. He, he, he works in that kind of, like, sitcom-y, animated adult show, uh, more so than Deadpool. Like, that, it, like, it's definitely in Howard's, Howard the Duck's wheelhouse. What's also interesting to note is that they haven't announced a, a set voice cast, uh, for any of the characters. Although, if they were gonna get anybody, I really want Seth Green to voice Howard. Of course, he's voiced Howard in Guardians of the Galaxy, um, and, uh, he's not too hard to get. Uh, Seth Green is totally not hard to get. So, I'm, especially Marvel. Like, just get Seth Green, we'll be good for Howard, we'll be fine. Anyway, so, um, the other characters, let's talk about them. Now, what's interest also interesting to note is that Modoc's getting an animated series, and he's a super, he's still a super villain, but he's going the Invader Zim route, which, I like Modoc, I think he's actually a credible threat. Like, people forget that despite his funny body look, he's actually, like, a credible threat as a villain. But I've kind of gotten over the fact that he's become a joke now, unfortunately. Um, but what's cool is that um, Patton Oswalt will be the showrunner for Marvel's MODOK. I've also got a feeling, again, what's interesting to note that is that they haven't announced a voice cast for any of the characters. Like, there is no voice cast set for these characters. So, I find that, in, you know, they would normally, because they got everything else, I guess they'll reveal a voice cast for later. But anyway, I've got a feeling that Pat Oswalt will voice MODOK. I've got a feeling that they're going to have, uh, not only, because he's not only showrunner, he's also going to be head writer on the show. Um, so I got a feeling that he is going to vo voice MODOK. I've just got this funny feeling. Next, we have Hitmonkey. Now, if you don't know who Hitmonkey is, that's fine. I had to remember, I had to force myself to remember, too. Hitmonkey was a character that spun out of the Daniel Way run of Deadpool. And he's basically a macaque from Japan who learned from a... who studied an American assassin, watched him die, and then took on those skills he learned to become a hitman that even uh, Deadpool and other mercenaries and ass assassins like D uh, Taskmaster and Lady Deathstrike feared. That's exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. The Hitmonkey is. So, that sounds cool, but I've got a feeling this is going to be more comedy-centric. But I, got a fe I also have a feeling that it's going to have some action, too. Following that is Tigra and Dazzler. Tigra and Dazzler. Um, they're going to have a show together, which is weird because Tigra and Dazzler don't really have a lot in common. Um, they've never really worked together, but I'll give them this, at least they're giving the X-Men anime, uh, uh, not only an animated show, like, they're giving the uh, an X-Men character in some capacity animated spotlight. I remember Wolverine and Ultimate Spider-Man, but that's it. So I'm glad we're actually getting some uh, X-Men content from Marvel again. So it's nice to have that, but it's cool to see her with Tigra, I like Tigra, but I'm wondering where this is going because it's gonna be like a 
uh, buddy cop show with Dazzler and Tigra, and the description of the show is like, they're both woke superheroes. And I went, um, I don't know if woke is the right word I'd be using here, but sure. Okay. Alright. Let's see where, uh, see where that goes. Um, it's also, like, I looked at Tigra's design for the show. She looks a lot like the Cooch from, uh, that other, uh, from that stop-motion superhero show. Um, the one that Brian Cranston's in. I can't remember the name, but I just remember that character. She looks like that character from that show. Um, yeah. She, she looked, oh yeah, Super Mansion, that's it. I, the name got away from me. She looks like the Cooch from Super, from, the design looks like the Cooch from Super Mansion. And now that you're going to, yeah, go look, check that out and see for yourself. So yeah, and then it's all going to coalesce into a show called Marvel's The Offenders, where all the characters come together to fight a threat that, you know, the Avengers could easily stop, but they're, they're not around. So yeah. What do I think of this? It's pretty cool. I like, I like the idea of a Howard the Duck animated show. I've wanted that for a while. MODOK, while I preferred, um, while I would have preferred a TV show... That was more supervillain centric. That's more like serious supervillain centric with him because I do. I'm still one of those believers who really think Modok is a total credible threat, and I've got the comics to back it up. But I'm fine with it if they're gonna go like an Invader Zim route. I mean, sure, okay, and Pat, I like Pat Oswalt, um, and he's known to do comedy and drama, so I'm totally fine with that. Same with uh, Hit Monkey. There's totally some stuff you could do with drama in here. Um, Dazzler and Tigra? Okay. I like those characters. And again, I'm happy we're getting X-Men, you know, some new X-Men stuff, animated-wise, from Marvel in some capacity. Maybe it's a taste of things to come. I hope to God it is. But, yeah. Um, and also, they said, you won't believe who the leader is of this team. So, I'm wondering, because they did say that there, you know, there was whispers of another Deadpool animated show coming out. So, I'm wondering if this is, if we're going to get not only a Deadpool animated show from here, but I'm guessing that Deadpool might be the leader of this team. It makes sense. He's, no, you know, uh, Hitmonkey did spin out of Deadpool, so it would make sense. And again, I'm willing to bet that, that you know... Uh, a Deadpool animated show that's directly under Marvel and not from, you know, I still hate the Don, you know, Donald Glover's animated Deadpool show, especially from the test footage we had. I was like, God damn it, that was really good. But hopefully they can find something, uh, good here. Um, so yeah, I've got a feeling that Deadpool might be in this Hulu, animated Hulu-verse, as it were. And again, more X-Men stuff from Marvel. Yay, and not like Fox Marvel. Which, again, Fox Marvel, you did good for that, you know, you had a nice run at, towards the end. Especially, of course, you gave us dead, uh, the Deadpool fans wanted. Twi you hit, the, hit it out of the park twice, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, I'm, I'm, I like this. I, um, I'm gonna have to start watching Hulu more. Um, you know, I could, this is a streaming site. Um. Uh, this is a streaming site that I enjoy, so I don't really, although I watch more Netflix than Hulu, I need to probably watch more, so yeah, this will this will definitely be a start, this will definitely be a start, because I do have Hulu, I just don't watch it that often, if anything, my, mo my mom watches it more than I do, but now I got a reason to watch Hulu now. So you guys tell us in the comments below here on, tell us out there in the universe, what do you guys think of... Hulu, of these new Hulu Marvel animated shows. Do you guys like them? Do you guys hate them? What do you guys think of uh, these characters coming together to make a team? And do you think Deadpool might be a part of it? Just comment below, let us know, and if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a, be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.